Good morning, welcome back to the Archivet YouTube channel. My name is Trevor, and today we're not going to cover up a microphone. <laughs> However, man, it's going to get a little, a little intense, heart heavy, because we're just, well, I'm, I'm just going through some stuff, and I got to talk about it, and I got to let you, I got to bring you in on it, I got to let you know, I got to share, I got to share this. So, roll that intro and we'll dive in. So you might be wondering, well, what could be, what could be so hard and heavy that's on Trevor right now? What's weighing him down? Well, here it is: the today's devotional and the uh, day by day dad's devotional. It's really good. It hits home, and honestly, it's something that I haven't done great at, and I'm getting, I'm doing better. And I, I realize this. A way to get better is to acknowledge the, the failure, the not up, up to expectation, not to satisfaction. And so what it read today is that uh, if you ask, your, ask a little kid, what do you want to do when you grow up? What do you want to be? Well, I want to be an astronaut. I want to be a NASCAR driver. I want to be a YouTuber. They're going to have an answer. However, as your children get older, that child gets older. And you ask them again, what do you want to be? Where do you where do you want to go to school? Like, where are you going to go to college? Well, doubt sets in, fear sets in. All these things start grabbing at them. And they may be like, well, Dad, uh, I don't know. I don't know. But in the back of their mind, they're like, well, I want to go to K-State. But my dad wants me to go to KU, which these are just examples, okay? I don't I don't care about my kids if, if they even go to school. Honestly, I'd be happy if they didn't go to college and they made a living better than I have made, better than I am making without college. That'd be tremendous. But, uh, yeah, so, and then as that kid gets older, you know, he becomes an adult. Hey, hey neighbor's home. <laughs> They become an adult, right? And then they might find a spouse. And they might not want to tell you. They might they might not feel comfortable telling you or talking to you about these things. And this could literally be about anything. And so that's what I'm trying to get better at. I'm trying to make sure that there is a solid open line of communication, trust, and understanding that no matter what they're not gonna they're not gonna they're not gonna hurt me by their decisions because I want to be incorporated in them I want them to I want them when they have questions to come to me and ask and so it kind of leads me into like my next thing which has been on my mind and on my heart for a long time and I finally just finally you know it's funny you, you have an awesome prayer before you go to sleep and you wake up and you just the answer's there the answer's there God's like here it is or the Holy Spirit's like here this is what you seek so what 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 I have to read to you guys is is something that I, I wrote today and it really like it says it's no secret so I'll just go for it it, it's no secret not having a wife sucks at the same time having the wrong wife is even worse now the same could be said about having a husband you could be in the wrong relationship the wrong marriage the wrong friendship and it just it's it's worse than not having it and I, I speak from experience on this because I, I was there I was there I had so then I continue and I say I am praying that these things before me will lead me before me lead me to become the man that God intended for my future wife because I, I really I really wanted to say that I, I'm praying for these things these things in front of me right now 
that they'll make they'll help me be the man that my future wife deserves however that's I, I don't something about that I don't like and I really like how I said this I am praying that these things before me lead me to become the man that God has intended for my future wife because I want to I want to get to heaven and see the a closer reflection of what I could have been versus who I am than a further um, reflection if that makes any sense I feel like God might be like hey this was your full potential and you made it here you made it here but you could have gone all the way here and I really hope that I can get as close to here as I can so all right all right all right to continue and I say I've got to I gotta quit seeking temporary when eternity is sitting right in front of me eternity is sitting right in front of me but I'm sitting back here and I'm oh, good old Chevy <laughs> I'm sitting here and I'm accepting settling for temporary for temporary satisfaction temporary if anything temporary versus waiting for the eternity and then uh yeah that, that was it that was it and so i say at the very end i'm like this is this is the biggest struggle of my life and it's true it really is true it's the biggest struggle that i have because I would, you guys don't, you know, I'm a single dad, single dad of three boys, and it's not easy, it's very, very difficult, and, you know, yeah, their, their mom is, gets to see them every other weekend, however, th for a man with custody of children, it's not equal to what women with custody have at all. And I have to be okay with that. I had I just have to accept that because that's that's just how it is. And instead of putting my faith in in the system, I put my faith in the Lord, in God, because I know that He will continue to provide. He has. And he will continue. And you know, um, man, it, it it's hard. You know, I I I really. I see married people and I'm like, man, they, they got a good marriage. Yeah, they might have struggles, but I, I can't wait for my day to, to have that because I want to show the boys how to treat women. Now, I can still do this. I can still show them. It's easy. For example, the mom, grandparents, the friends, I can show them with them, but you can't really show them how to treat a wife without a wife <laughs> I mean right I don't know I haven't figured that one out yet and so I just I don't know I hope that these things in front of me and I pray that these things in front of me lead me to be the man that God intended me to be for my future wife now, I don't know who she is I don't even know where she lives I, I just I don't know but I trust that he has, he has somebody, and maybe she's getting just as prepared for me as I am for her, I don't know, and that's okay, but I would love, love to have, on um, weekends like this, it, it really hits me, of uh, just coming home and, well, there's nobody home, I get to sit and enjoy the presence of God, and learn to live within the silence and this presence of him on these weekends because I don't I don't have any distractions I don't have anything pulling me in or anybody to go out and you know if, if I had a wife like this would be a perfect time for us to go out and have a date night we could go have a whole date weekend we could go do do some stuff and you know see some things it'd be fun and we could even just stay home and just cuddle and uh, oh man the th the list is it's endless and coming home to nobody 
it sucks. But, like I said in the beginning of this, I would rather come home to nobody than come home to the wrong person. I have already been there. I have already come home to the wrong person for many years. And I don't want to ever do it again. I don't want... Really, I don't, I don't want anybody to have to go through that. Now, I know that there's some people that are going through that, and I try to use my experience to help guide them, help them kind of see where they're going, what's going on, and to be aware. But, you know, some people take it, some people, they, they just, it doesn't click. Because also, just like when I was in that position, I didn't listen. I didn't, I didn't understand, and that's just how it was. Uh, I wasn't ready for that kind of knowledge, that kind of uh, blessing. So you gotta be willing to take it and accept it and receive it. And yeah, it's, man, this got, this got long, this got deep, oof. God is here right now with me, <laughs> man, it, and, this is this is something that I think he's he's using me for to try and help others. I don't know of any other way besides just to here's my struggle and to share it with you guys. Cause that's what we do a lot here. Uh, anyhow, um, that's gonna that'll do it for today. And today I actually have a little bit more going on, but this was a good little. God and Trevor and the Arctic Vet family talk. <laughs> now don't worry, don't worry. I've done prayed on this a few times. A few times. I mean a lot. <laughs> so it's not it's not really something that like it, it bothers me, but it's not weighing me down today. It's not uh, it's not gonna ruin my day. It's not gonna ruin the weekend. It's not I can't wait to have that crap. And it doesn't because I've got God and I've given it to him and I know that I trust in my trust with him it'll be okay everything will work out and I just have to keep trusting him and putting my faith in him so don't worry guys we're still good here we're doing we're doing good we're struggling but we're doing good okay now what I was saying is today I'm actually going to be making probably two other videos that you'll see later on and they're gonna they're featuring my buddy and I'm super excited so uh, that's why I keep looking over towards the road because I'm waiting on him to get here so that we can do this stuff it's gonna be a lot of fun so click that red subscribe button don't forget we're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers if you guys could click that red subscribe button and tell all of your friends all of your family members we're gonna get to 10k a whole lot faster so go ahead share the Arctic Vet YouTube channel with your friends and family members don't forget we also have a giveaway going on and you guys need to go enter it check it out that is on the channel 1000 subscriber giveaway and that's going to end here on i believe it was the 15th the 14th is that right pull up the calendar while you guys wait for me to do that drop some comments down below i'd love to hear from you give me some feedback and the giveaway does end on the 14th of january 2022 so don't be late go enter and we will see you guys tomorrow in another daily arctic vet vlog <laughs> thank you guys so much for listening if this helps you out smash that thumbs up and let me know down below let me know let me know if this hits home because this is really hitting home for me and it's hitting home for a lot of people I, i've there's just some people I, god's like hey send this to them and they're like wow thank you so thank you jesus Thank you all. God bless.